These are the frontline fighters in Brazil's battle against the rapid spread of the Zika virus. For the first time, Saudi women will be allowed to vote and run for office in historic municipal elections on Saturday. And volunteers and officials prepared to welcome thousands of refugees. As the new arrivals stepped onto the platform, they were greeted by signs in Arabic saying welcome. Good morning, Kuna, and welcome to Kuna Today. I'm Reed. And I'm Lauren. I don't know about you, Lauren, but I'm excited to be here at Kuna for the first time. Reed, it's an honor to be on the broadcast giving you beautiful ambassadors the news you need. Pleasantries aside, today on the show we're going to take a quick look back at yesterday's phenomenal Kuna activities, including the opening ceremony and Parade of Nations. And then we'll listen to some of the people from the Global Villages to find out their story. Lastly, we'll take a quick look ahead towards the epic adventure that is Kuna 2017. But for right now, let's get a better look at the highlights from yesterday. We sure had a busy day here at Kuna 2017, which started off with the opening ceremony. It was quite a sight to see the Parade of Nations with all the pageantry and colorful costumes. And then we heard some inspirational comments from the Kuna Secretary General, Malcolm Hamming. We also got a look at this year's candidates for Secretary General, and I can tell you there are a lot of really qualified candidates this year. The education fair is always interesting. There are so many booths passing on vital information critical to understanding the world around us and this specific Kuna conference. And the international stage is one of the most visually stunning parts of the whole Kuna experience with all the time the students took learning about other cultures and making their costumes. All in all, a great first day here at Kuna 2017 and one that we're sure to remember for a long time. But now let's send it back to the studio with Lauren and Reed. Thank you, Morgan, for that report. Here at Kuna, there is so much happening that it's nearly impossible to catch all of it. And that's why Kuna Today is here to help you capture all of those Kuna experiences that you might have missed. There are over 1,100 students here at Kuna. Meaning there are over 1,000 different stories to be told. So we sent Nathan out to the Global Village to catch up with some of the ambassadors and see how their experiences have been. And what he brought back was a fascinating window into the lives of some of Kuna's finest. Let's find out what you all had to say. Thanks guys. Well, as you can see behind me, the many different Global Villages this year at Kuna. Now, let's check out some. I'm here with many members from the Democratic Republic of Congo. Now, Faiza, what are you trying to accomplish at this year's CUNA convention? Um, I was here last year as well. I just want to see how we can all come together as united and bring each other up instead of pushing each other down. Isn't that amazing? Some ambassadors traveled all the way from the Democratic Republic of Congo to share their experiences. That's right. CUNA provides the opportunity for all students to share their stories. The real story is that the more we learn about the differences between people and their cultures, the more that we find out how similar the lives and values of all people really are. But that's enough perspective for now. We've got an action-packed day ahead of us. We will hear candidate speeches and debates and attend to several items of business. And we will also have our mixer this evening, entailing dancing, karaoke, and the crowd favorite, Gaga Ball. I hear it's pretty lit. Get your game face on and embrace the whole experience. And when the day is over, grab yourself a little shut-eye. We'll see you back here tomorrow on Kuna Today.